That, that, that is enough said. What's up, Heat Nation? Ernest here, back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Happy Wednesday, you guys. Hump day. We're around the corner towards weekend time. Now go ahead and show your appreciation, you guys, by liking the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We just made it to 3,800 subscribers. We are around the corner to 4,000. So thank you guys so much for your support. Now, let's get it ready to rock and roll on another Miami Heat Talk adventure because, boy, today is a goodie. Because we back at the 2024 NBA Draft Series. Today is technically part three. We've talked about some centers before. We talked about Kel L. Ware. We've talked about Zach Eady. We know that size is a necessity for the Miami Heat. But there is another need for this team. A scoring point guard. A guy that we can truly feel can not only come off the bench for Terry Rozier and handle this offense, but also someone that you can look towards for the future. Because you don't know what's going to happen with Terry Rozier. So the name I'm going to drop to you guys is a guy that I feel fits like a glove for this Miami Heat roster. And it's actually a player that a lot of you have been talking about. And it's a player that I even mentioned in the very first draft series that I did weeks ago. This guy is Devin Carter from the Providence Friars. Devin Carter's from Miami. He was born here in the 305. He is the son of Anthony Carter, Miami Heat legend. For those of you that don't remember Anthony Carter, he came to the Miami Heat in the 99-2000 season, backed up Tim Hardaway for a couple years. Then when Tim Hardaway left, he became the starting point guard from 2002 to 2003. Anthony Carter also was an assistant coach for the Miami Heat for many years. Um, so he's a guy that bleeds Miami Heat culture. He comes from the Pat Riley system. He knows that type of hard work. And his son transfers that type of hustle. And you see it in his play. Now, Devin Carter is six foot three, 195 pounds. He is a junior coming off a very impressive season. Now, I'm going to give you guys some of his numbers. Uh, in his final season this past year, Devin Carter averaged 19.7 points a game. Almost 20 points a game, 35 minutes a game. He also averaged 47% from the field, 38% from the three-point line, 75% from the free throw line, a whopping 8.7 rebounds a game. I'm going to say that again. Six foot three point guard playing 35 minutes, averaging almost nine rebounds a game. He also averages 3.6 assists, 1.8 steals, and he also averaged a block a game. In 33 games, he gave you 33 blocks. This is a kid that's a stat filler. He's a hustler on defense. He's a pest on defense. He can score the ball. He can hit the three-point shot. He gives you a lot of things that this Miami Heat team needs. Now, I understand everybody is clamoring for size. Everybody wants size for this Miami Heat roster. So I know a lot of us are going to go into the 2024 draft hoping that the Miami Heat get a Zach Eady, a Kel L. Ware. But guys, it's like we've seen in the past. Think about it. Think about these three names I'm about to throw at you for the previous drafts. Bam Adebayo. Tyler Hero, Jaime Hawkes Jr. I saw all of, all of those three drafts. I witnessed them live. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Maybe some of you may not admit this, but those were not the three guys I was dying to draft when I was waiting for the Heat to make their pick. Now, I remember when we drafted Tyler Hero, for those of you that have been following me, I actually did a live for the 2019 NBA draft. You can scroll all the way in the past and watch that. I actually mentioned Tyler Hero, but he wasn't the main guy. He was just one of the one of the names that I mentioned. Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, and Jaime Hawkes Jr. were not guys that I feel that fans were like, you gotta draft that, you gotta draft that guy. I'm sure that a lot of times when people saw the name, Bam Adebayo, Jaime Hawkes Jr., maybe even Tyler Hero, some fans were like, who the hell is that? But look what they did for this team. It is because this Miami Heat team, this Miami Heat team, excuse me, 
predicates themselves on finding gems. Not only in the draft, but we do it with undrafted players as well. So in the draft, if you don't get a Zach Eady or a Kella Ware and the Heat end up drafting Devin Carter, it's for a reason. Devin Carter is a guy that screams Miami Heat culture. In his three years in college, he has progressed every single year. First season, nine points a game. Second season, 13 points a game. Third season, almost 20 points a game. He's also elevated his rebounding. He's elevated his assists. He's elevated his steals. He's elevated all of his numbers. He went from a 29 to 26% three-point shooter to a 38% three-point shooter this past year. He is poised and ready to become an NBA player. And I feel that if Devin Carter's name is called upon in this NBA draft, I won't be upset. I'll be happy. And I know a lot of you guys will as well, because a lot of you guys in the previous um, episode, the Zach Eady episode, we're talking about Devin Carter. Now, how does Devin Carter fit with this Miami Heat roster? Let's say you trade for Donovan Mitchell. Let's say you don't trade for Donovan Mitchell. Let's say, for example, if this team runs it back. I know Heat fans, you're screaming probably at the screen right now saying, don't run it back. Well, hear me out real quick. Who do the Miami Heat have as a real backup point guard? I mean, you can slide Tyler Hero, you can slide Josh Richardson, you can slide DeLon Wright, but none of those guys are truly point guards. Devin Carter is. Devin Carter can score on his own. Devin Carter can facilitate for others. Devin Carter, when other players shoot the shot, he doesn't run back. He goes for the rebound. He's a guy that screams Miami Heat culture, and I feel Devin Carter would be a great fit on this team. Now, this is part three. It's because part one and part two, you guys saw that I was really pushing for size. It's because that's what we feel this Miami Heat team needs to get to the next level. We have playmakers. We have scorers. We don't have size. So I want to hear from you, Heat fans. Do you think Devin Carter is the perfect fit for this Miami Heat team in the draft? And remember, Terry Rozier only has two years left on his contract. So after Terry leaves, you're going to need a point guard to be that guy. And two years on this team, Devin Carter can be that guy. So, and I say that Terry Rozier is going to leave, but maybe not that he can re-sign him. There's going to be a lot of different factors that play into this draft, but it's really interesting to talk about. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we make our push for 4,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone that supports this channel. I appreciate y'all. You're the real MVPs. Enjoy your Wednesday. And that is enough said. Peace out.